I bought Casey's filmmaking course and in this video we will find out is it worth your money or did Casey do this for some quick bucks? Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. You're probably thinking, who is this guy judging this course? First of all, I'm a big Casey fan. I watched everything that he published and I mean everything from the HBO days and even before everything I could find. I love that man with all of my heart. But I will be brutally honest. Me being a fan is not gonna make you value my opinion. It sound right, boy. Wait. I'm actually a Balkan YouTuber. I made over 1,500 videos, but like millions of subscribers. Uh, I, 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 am, I, uh, I can't speak English, bro. I'm so terrified. I live from YouTube for like years now. I make a living. I had a whole Casey phase where I did a daily vlog for over two years. Two years. Two years, bro. I'm so scared. Can we stop? Can we stop? Can we stop? No. Please. No, no, stop. <laughs> I can't ride anything besides a bicycle. I made some feature documentaries. I mean, filmmaking is my life. And also learning is my life too. I watch uh, tutorials on a daily basis. I made many uh, myself. I hope that gives me enough credibility. So let's start this journey. I'm so excited. If I follow the class, I can do them in 15 days. But my decision is to do everything today. I watched the first lesson. Oh, it's kind of good. It's kind of good, but it's just starting. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's watch it all. I just finished my second lesson. Best part was seeing Casey fail because whenever I watched his videos, you always see the finished products. But I couldn't even imagine how much Casey struggles with just making a basic video. I don't know, maybe he's just rusty because he didn't upload so much in the last few years. But <laughs> it was really fun watching him struggle. You know what exposure is, they might not understand what I'm doing, but it's a way of letting the audience... And I will see you at our next lesson when I'm gonna... Ugh, oh, bro. This was the longest yet. It was about an hour. Just Casey talking about editing. I mean, it was good, but it was pretty much basic. No, it was not basic, but funny thing is I edit 70% like Casey. I mean, he influenced me a lot. And the most of the things he, he speaks in these lessons are things I use on daily basis when I edit. So I didn't learn a lot. This is great for people who are like not so good at editing, but doing daily upload for over two years and really trying to do it good forces you to learn this stuff. <laughs> so, so my advice is watch this course, don't do daily upload. <laughs> yeah, actually that's the lesson. <laughs> And with that, I finished the first half of the filmmaking and storytelling with Casey Neistat. Other half is coming out in 15 days and the question stands, did this first half feel like it was worth my money and time? But it wouldn't be fair for me to judge it if I didn't do everything. As you can see, I only finished 45%. Other half is me making the movie. So let's do it. First half of Casey's filmmaking course was about spontaneous filming. So from now on, I'm gonna try to do this video without planning it. Even though English is not my uh, 
native language. He talked about main things. Best part for me was Casey just walking around his neighborhood and talking about how he gets his ideas. We should go outside and try the same. Let's just look for ideas. I have one idea. Maybe next time Casey do this in the summertime. <laughs> Not now. I'm sure I can make a movie about shitty street art. There's plenty in Serbia. Casey went out and he was like, there's an idea, there's an idea, there's an idea. How does he do it? <laughs> I got an idea. What? We're gonna make a movie about me missing my diarrhea. Z. Five months ago, there was a big fire 200 meters away from my home. It was terrible. Firefighters struggled with the fire through the whole night. Next morning, fiancé and me just tried to help. We didn't even know how. We bought some drinks for the people and just asked around if anyone needs help. It was such a great market and no one was happy to see it get ruined like that. Before the fire, in the market you could buy almost anything. And for a really good price. Shops were mainly run by Chinese people and the products were also from China. Prošao sam ispod vode i bukvalno voda je topla. Pa što curi. Svaka pomoć dobrodošla. Ljubi brat! Ljubi brat, znate! Živimo ljubav, a ne mržiju, braćo! There was one place in the market that was my favorite. It was this restaurant. It was made mostly for the people who work at shops. Main cook was this old lady and she cooked traditional Chinese food. Not the fake westernized version, but the real one. Anyone could eat there, but it was mostly unknown in the city. Even I don't know how I heard about it. But because of the fire, the restaurant was closed. In the end, no one got hurt and the fire was out. So why am I telling you this story? It's actually connected to one of my first childhood memories. My brother woke me up on a random day with the news that neighbor's house is on fire. It happened because of the bad electrical work. I don't remember much, but we were standing on the other side of the road and just looking at the house and the smoke was so big, it was so huge. And I remember seeing that and having this bad gut feeling and that's why i became a firefighter would be a great hero story and truth is that opposite happened that house was left destroyed and for my whole life living there i always avoided it literally i would never walk near it now i'm living in another city and i'm kind of doing the same thing it has been five months since the fire some of the shops renovated and started working again and me I miss my favorite restaurant and I shouldn't avoid that part of the city. There is one day in a week when this market doesn't work and it's Tuesday. What day is it, Dario? Today? It's Tuesday, in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, maybe the restaurant is open. It's actually closed. I have to finish this movie today. Lights are on, lights are on. Lights are always on. My title was this Missing is, My Diarrhea. This is a sad ending. You will not get your diarrhea. I always get diarrhea when I eat Chinese food. Did Casey said anything about the end being satisfying or not? Yeah, he said it should be satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea. I have laxative at home. I don't wanna do this anymore. <laughs> ah! I just finished my movie. I slept on this decision. And is this filmmaking course worth your money? Short answer is... Yes.
<sighs> I think it has most value for people who just started this filmmaking journey and want to level up their game. As for people who are advanced, I mean if you're a professional filmmaker you can probably afford it. And as you get better and better at your craft, it gets harder and harder to be better. And in this filmmaking course, you're going to get some gold nuggets. I personally feel it was worth my money and can't wait to see the other half. This part of the course was about making a spontaneous film and second half is going to be about movies you really think about and you, you cook your ideas for a long, long time. And I'm excited for that part. Since most of my videos are kind of spontaneous, that's gonna be a good change of pace. See you in 15 days where I'm going to give you a full review.